Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am on Talbot Street in Dublin. And behind me, you can see that grey plaque in between the two windows. So this marks the place where Sean Tracy, Sean Tracy was shot dead uh, on the 14th of October, 1920. Uh, Sean Tracy was an IRA man from Tipperary. Um, he was only 24 when he was killed. He um, was best known for starting the um, conflict in 1919. Republicans, nationalists usually called it the Irish War of Independence. Um, so uh, two RIC officers were escorting a delivery of gelignite to a quarry because it could be stolen by people who would have ill intent with the gelignite. And uh, Sean Tracy and several other IRA men lay in wait for the R RIC. Now the IRA can't get their story straight. Do they just want to steal the gelignite and not kill the police officers? Or was their primary intention to kill the police officers? Anyway, they shot them dead. They said they called upon them to surrender and as they didn't do so immediately they were killed. The IRA don't like to point out that they um, uh, did not actually manage to take the gelignite. I think they, they, they seized it briefly and then just gave up. And the cart, horses and gelignite were recovered uh, a couple of hours later. Anyway, so uh, Doyle Aaron was meeting in the Mansion House in Dublin, that's the Lord Mayor's residence. So they, all these um, Sinn Féin MPs who had been re elected for Irish constituencies to go to Westminster were not going to the UK Parliament, were meeting here in Dublin to form their own Parliament. And uh, the first session of the Doyle was on the same day that Sean Tracy and his chums shot dead those two uh, Royal Irish Constabulary men. Um, and that was that, and so more uh, shootouts continued. One of their colleagues, Sean Hogan, he was arrested. He was going to be taken by, taken by uh, train to Cork to stand trial for his life and probably face uh, execution. However, Sean Tracy and Dan Breen, they rescued him. You can read a lot about this in Dan Breen's um, very uh, self-serving My Fight for Irish Freedom, which is full of tall tales, quite childish in its way, but a thoroughly uh, readable book. Um, Anyway, there was a shootout here in Dublin on the 11th of October, 1920, in Drumcondra, a bit north of here. A professor, I think it's Carolyn, let them stay in his house, and uh, this came to the ears of the uh, police. So they raided the house, and there was a shootout, and Dan Breen claimed to have shot dead a dozen men that night, or something ridiculous like this, that um, he crashed a greenhouse, was heavily bleeding, and managed to scale a 10-foot wall, and there were all sorts of the most extraordinary claims. Now. There's no question that, that Dan Breen was fearless and did kill quite a few people, but that's not good enough for him and he inflated the figures quite a lot. Anyway, Tracy was a wanted man and uh, Sir Hamer Greenwood, that uh, was a high-ranking official, who was going to be present at the funerals of some of the RIC officers they killed. It was going to be an attempt to kill Hamer Greenwood. The shop behind me where the green sign is, that used to be the Republican Outfitters, as in they made Irish volunteer uniforms. Why on earth did the authorities allow it to be opened in 1920? Um, well, uh, there was good reason for this because obviously it was a magnet for IRA men and Sean Tracy and his uh, colleagues showed a lack of gumption in agreeing to meet there um, because obviously it was under surveillance by um, agents of the Crown. So Lieutenant Price was tailing him and Price saw him, Tracy realised he's being followed, tried to uh, get his bike, pull, pull, pull his parabellum, that's a gun as in for war, parabellum, and opened fire and, and Price was shot dead, there were shots fired and um, Tracy was felled by a single bullet to the head. It happened to be witnessed by a photographer's apprentice who was um, high up in a, uh, on, the, on the street and from the first floor window he photo took a couple of photographs and that was that Tracy was dead. Anyway, his body was taken by train back to uh, his native county where tens of thousands of people turned out for uh, his uh, interment. So he was adulated by many people there. The South Tipperary Brigade of the Irish Republican Army was one of those active units um, at the time and also thought in the side of the Crown Forces. So by the, the truce, July 1921, the Crown Forces didn't go around South Tipperary, certain areas of it, even in daylight. So there's only South Tip and uh, West Cork where the IRA was fairly successful, could created zones that they fully controlled. But that was a tiny amount of Ireland's landmass, perhaps 2% of Ireland's landmass. So they're very long way from properly uh, governing the country. All right, so that, that is uh, Sean Tracy, and he's uh, held in high regard by some people in Tipperary's day, even to this day. There's a rather tuneless and uh, 
morose uh, ballad about him, about how lovely Sean was shot down in Talbot Street, and that is where. And some Tipperary GAA supporters will gather here um, uh, to mark this place uh, when they're on their way to Craig Park. Uh, not on the anniversary of his death, usually early in September, if uh, there's, a, there's an All-Ireland on or something. That's enough about Sean Tracy.